Welcome to Eat Pretty. This is Lavinia. We're going to be doing a really quick breakfast sandwich that I discovered. So what I have is some plantain. I don't know that many of you have ever tried plantain, decided to eat it. I discovered it when I was younger. It's a great source of fiber. And um, it's not as sweet as a banana. These were already cut up and frozen. Already. So it's not a whole lot of cooking I have to do. And usually what I do is I move them over um, while they're in the pan. I normally don't cook this many. But I move them over while they're in the pan. And I will lay my veggie bacon right down in there while it's cooking. Because I'm lazy. And I'm also trying to cook fast. I'm not trying to waste a lot of time or space cooking my food. Veggie bacon will cook up quickly, like faster than regular bacon. And y'all don't ask me to cook no regular bacon. That's a joke. I haven't fried any kind of regular bacon or anything like that since I was probably 10 or 11. So don't ask me to cook regular bacon. I don't know how that works. The plantain, you'll just cook until it's brown. Um, and cook all the way through. It's like frying potatoes or whatever. It's not that difficult. Don't mind me. I'm just in here frying. If you've ever been to a Caribbean restaurant or um, South American restaurant, you'll find that they eat a lot of plantain. It's a staple. It's like rice. The main reason I didn't, I chose the plantain was one, because of the way it slices. It'll fit on a bagel. And also two, because I wanted something a little sweet. I know eggs ain't sweet. That's not what I'm saying. I wanted it something a little, had a little sweetness to it when I'm going to substitute my uh, foods out. So that's why I chose plantain. Other people choose it for other different reasons. I just like, I just like it because I like the way it tastes. See, this bacon, this veggie bacon, has only been in here a couple of, not even a minute or two. And it's almost done. You cook the bacon the same way you cook it at home. If you want it crispy, you leave it in the pan a little bit longer. If you want it chewy, you don't cook it that long. It's the same principle. It's still bacon. So I'm going to turn them. I don't like for them to cook too, too long. Take this piece of veggie bacon out because it's done. And I can take this piece out. Because it's basically, yep. See if you got that little burnt. You know, if you like your bacon a little burnt, you'll do that. So you have that flavor of, of the pan. And now, what I'm going to do is as the plantain are cooking. I'm sure they're completely cooked down the way I want them to be. They're not overcooked on either side. Like, Cause I like them to look caramelized like that. Yeah. I want them to be soft and squishy. Like anything else. There we go. Then what I do is I take the cheese. This is veggie cheese. This is not anything else. This is regular old veggie cheese. American style veggie cheese. And I take it. And because it's melty, I melt it over just like you would like with sausage or anything else. If you don't want cheese on it, 
Totally understand. If you want your cheese cold, totally understand. Totally get you. No problems there. So I'm going to take this one out. It's done. And um, yeah, take this one out. So that I can do the last special part of these, of this. So again, this really depends on how you like your cheese. I use mini bagels because they hold everything I need. Get a mini bagel, it's already sliced, it's fresh, throw that joke in a pan. Trust me when I say it makes a huge difference in the flavor if you don't put it in the toaster oven. You just fry it. Oops. You just fry it. And it will absorb some of the oil that you already have in the pan, which is great, because you know you don't want to leave a whole bunch of oil in the pan. Um, and it'll be like toasty and soft and good, kind of like if you went to the grill or a drive-through or whatever, it'll have that similar feel. So I'm gonna flip this one up, pick this up, set it on here, Actually, I'm going to set this on top of a piece of bacon because I like it in between the crunch. Set this in here. Another piece of bacon. It's already done. Pick this up. Put that on there. And that's what it'll look like when it's done. How long did that take me? Probably about five, maybe five minutes. Maybe. Maybe five minutes. And yes, it's still hot. Turn this off. It's still hot. I'm trying to wait a second until it cool off before I bite into it. Let me get a flip down. So this is my breakfast sandwich. Plantain, veggie bacon, veggie cheese on a bagel. Totally discovered it by accident. So I'm gonna tell y'all right now because I know it's biking. Yep, I did that. I really did that. The plantain is so mild, just a hint of sweetness. I have the crispiness of the bacon. I have the flavor of the American cheese. The bacon is nice and soft, but it has that crunch like it's been on the grill. Mm. Mm. This is Eat Pretty. Y'all, I'm gonna keep on eating.